this video, I'm going to answer a very important question, which is, what are DNS, LES, and URANs? Before answering this question, let's answer another question. What is a turbulent flow? A turbulent flow has three important characteristics. It is highly unsteady. It means that it changes with time. It is three-dimensional and also all the variables in this flow change in a random and chaotic manner. For instance, this figure shows a typical point velocity measurement. As can be seen, the velocity changes in a chaotic and random manner over time. This figure shows the flow over a flat plate. Considering this figure, now let's an, another important question. Let's answer another important question. What is the main difference between a turbulent flow and a laminar flow? Based on this figure, the main difference between a laminar flow and a turbulent flow is that the turbulent flow in fact contains rotational flow structures, which are the so-called turbulent eddies. These eddies have a wide range of length scales. These eddies can be seen in this figure, right? For instance, this figure also shows the energy spectrum of a, of a typical turbulent flow, okay? Which has to do with the, with the presence of these turbulent eddies in the flow, okay? Here, K is in fact the wave number of these eddies. Now let's answer this question. What are DNS, LES, and URANs? They are in fact methods by which CFD represents the turbulent flow, however, with different levels of accuracy. To understand what does that mean, the different levels of accuracy? Let's look at this picture, which shows the predi prediction provided uh, by DNS, LES, and URANs for a turbulent jet. Okay. As can be seen, DNS provides more details of the flow compared to other methods. However, why is that? It, it has to do with the nature of these methods. To understand the reason for this difference between these methods, let's see what each method actually is. DNS, which stands for Direct Numerical Simulation, in fact resolves all the turbulent scales without using any modeling techniques. Okay? However, uh, for a turbulent flow at high Reynolds number, there are eddies of 10 micrometer with a frequency of order of 20 kilohertz. It means that to resolve these small uh, scale eddies, we need 10 to the power of 12 points with a time step of 100 micrometer. So it is virtually impossible to perform such a simulation nowadays. On the other hand, LES, which stands for Large Eddy Simulations, it resolves only large-scale eddies, while it models the smaller-scale ones. It is less expensive than DNS, however, it is still impossible to use it for most practical applications. Okay. At the end, URANs, uh, it which only captures the, the, the mean flow, the average flow, and it only models the turbulence effect through using statistical methods. Okay. It is in fact the most popular method to solve the turbulent flow problems nowadays okay, because it is the less expensive one. URANs, in fact, uses a wide range of turbulence models, which I will explain in the next videos. We can explain the difference between these methods using the 
uh, spectrum of energy of a Tellurian flow possible. Humans models all the lens scale of eddies. ENS resolves all of them. However, NES resolves only large scale eddies, which also contain the uh, the main part of the flow energy, right? However, it models the smaller scale ones. That's it. Thank you very much. Please subscribe because I'm going to publish more videos on the CFD application in the industry of flows.